Hey YouTube, I just wanted to post a quick video. I um, just got a few of these OLED screens in the mail and uh, when I started prototyping with them and messing around I ran into a few um, little quirks that I did, couldn't find a whole lot of documentation for out there so I thought I'd just give you guys a heads up. Um, this particular one is a GM 009605V4, which is um, a, like a SSD 1306 variant. Um, now, most of the ones that I s have seen, you know, SketchUps for, are um, they have uh, ground uh, voltage in. Um, and then they have SCL and SDA, and as you guys can see on here, this one has SCK. So SCK and SCL both stand for serial clock, and um, more or less it seems like it doesn't actually matter. Uh, so I'm going to show you real quick here uh, how I prototype this. Um, we'll just run 5 volt to VDD. We'll run ground with a black cable to ground. We'll run SCK, the serial clock, over to D1 on this. Uh, Wemos D1 Mini, um, which is actually the SCL pin, um, and there is an SCK pin on here, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So, and lastly, on D2 here, which is the SDA pin, we'll go to SDA, and if I give this thing a reboot. There we go. Um, there's a sketch on here that I loaded and I'll, I'll link in the description that uh, will actually start a little HTTP server and let you run commands to update the uh, text on the screen. So um, yeah, the you can actually run um, instead of going to D1, you can go to D5, which is the SCK pin, um, and SCK typically is for SPI, um, but at least with this um, Wemos D1 Mini, um, either one will work for this application as long as you define it in the sketch, and um, some libraries are easier to do that with than others. So. There you go. We got a Wemos D1 Mini uh, sending data to a little OLED display. Thanks, guys. Uh, hope this helps somebody out, and happy hacking.